So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today the question that we'll be solving is set matrix 0. Okay, now the question basically is something like we will be given a 2D matrix and wherever we encounter a 0, we have to set the entire row as 0 as well as the entire column as 0. So let's say if we are, uh, we are over here, right? So we have to set the entire row as 0, that is this and the entire column as 0 because we found a 0 over there. Okay, so I will just show you in written like what exactly we have to do. So this particular thing that we have, right, this particular uh, matrix that we have will get converted to something like this. So just because we have a zero over here, that means this will also get converted to zero as well as this entire column will also get converted to zero. Okay, so this is what our answer should be. Got it. Now coming on to this part over here. Okay, this is the other test case that we have. So this will be something like this. Okay, so this will get converted to Wait, just give me a second. Yep, we have it over here. So this thing will get converted to We have a zero over here that means this has to be zero. This has to be zero. We have a zero over here that means this has to be zero. This has to be zero and this. Okay, so this these are our answers okay so let's just uh, confirm it from our previous thing so yep this is a i shape 0 and this is a t shape 0 right so t shape 0 and i shape 0 cool now when, uh, whenever we uh, encounter a question like this the first thing that should come inside our mind is basically creating an extra space in order to save this particular value okay or to mark where exactly the zero are okay so what i can do is i can create a separate list okay to store whether there like where whether there is a zero inside my row or not okay and same thing i can do for my column so this is for column and for my row this will be it right now see how we can um, make this work around so let's say i'm uh, moving in this particular matrix right so i can just uh, travel around like this simple normal uh, nested for loops right now as soon as I encounter a zero what I will do is I will set its corresponding uh, column as well as row to zero so the corresponding uh, column that we have for that zero is this and the corresponding row that we have is the first one right similarly if we look at the okay so this is the only thing that we have for this right now what I can do is uh, rest of the stuff I can set it to as minus one so it's my choice now what I will do is when I'm recreating this matrix right or if let's say we are moving in this matrix again what I will do I will just check if my like if my column matrix results out to be uh, the value result out to be zero or my row matrix a value result out to zero what I have to do is I have to set zero inside that entire row or in entire column right so what I will do over here is see so we are moving uh, so not the entire row and column uh, what I meant was that particular cell okay so I will just show you how exactly this thing will work so let's say we are starting from here right so I will just check do I have zero anywhere in my column or in my row so yes, I do have in my row, right? So I will set this thing as zero. Do I have any zero in my column or row? Yes, I do have. Do I have any zero in my column or row? Yes, I do have a zero in my row. Done, right? Now, what I will do is I will come up over here. I will say, do I have a zero? No, I don't have a zero. So okay, this value will remain whatever it is. Do I have a zero? Yes, I have a zero. So this will get zero. Do I have a, a zero? No, I don't have a zero. This will go like one, okay? Now coming on over here, same thing. Yes, this has a zero, so zero and this doesn't have anything so one so you can see that I got the same result that I had over here right that is my this T shaped right oh no what is this yep T shaped thing right if by mistake like default it's taking that but this is what I meant basically right yep so now what we will do is uh, we'll look like so uh, I hope you got a rough idea of what exactly we meant by this right but now this approach is not that good why because we are using extra space right so we can't actually use extra space all the time this is just increasing our space complexity so can we do anything better yes we can we can utilize the space that we already have that is our first row and first column okay but uh, now I wanted to pay super, like high attention over here because this part is a little bit tricky okay so when i say that we have to like we'll be using our first row and first column okay there are chances are that if we modify our first row then uh, we have to like put zero everywhere 
okay so those kind of scenarios might happen so for that what we are doing is so let's take this example okay because this will help you understand stuff better so we have this right now in our earlier approach uh, we didn't face any problem due to the reason because we uh, didn't had any overlap okay so my row thing that i had didn't uh, overlapped with my column thing okay but if we are considering this part right so there will be a overlap between the first row and the first column i hope you are getting it right so these two will get overlapped right so it will be something like this like the, we have this and then we have this right so there is an overlap this portion right okay so that is the reason why uh, i am trying to avoid starting from here and instead i will be starting from this side okay also what i will do is i won't make any changes in in like i won't travel inside this region or this region so what i will do is i will first travel over here only okay this part that i have and for this particular part i will do something different okay so just tell me if there is a zero inside this row anywhere this entire row will get zero right so what i will do is i will separately travel that row okay the first row that i have and if there is a zero i will set it to true okay else it will be my false similarly i will travel inside the like i will create a variable column okay and i will travel inside it and if there is a zero i will set it to true else i will set it to false okay and rest of the case remains same okay so i will be traveling in this particular region i am just making small dots i don't know if that will be visible okay i will be just traveling in this and if i encounter a zero i will be changing the corresponding row and column values right so right now you can see that first i have traveled through the row and what i observed was that yes there was a zero inside the first row so what i have to do i have to set my first row to true that means my first row has to be zero now moving in my column first column that i have uh, it doesn't have any zero right so that means my first column will remain as false that so i got these two values right cool done now what i will do is i will start traversing from the this side okay so i am traversing from this side now what i will do is i will see okay one is there no issues i won't make any changes i encountered a zero right so as soon as i encountered a zero i will do this change that is i will make this as zero as well as this as zero my first row okay although it was earlier now once i am like up to this point again i will go over here i won't like go inside this region okay i will never go inside this region now i will come up over here now when i am over here i will see this one okay so yes one okay cool it's okay now coming on to this uh, this region it's okay i don't have to change anything right because this is also one now we are not looking at the top part that we have over here right so i hope like what we are looking at is just this much of the matrix okay so i have a zero over here so i will set this as zero and this as zero rest of the stuff whatever value they have okay they will keep on having that value minus 1 1 whatever you want to feel okay so that value is still over there now what i will do is once i'm done with this uh, i will again iterate okay so this time again i will iterate and if i find my row value or my column value as zero what we did earlier what i will do is i will set that particular thing as zero so i go over here i see my row as zero right i find my row as zero so i will set this as zero right column value is not zero but uh, row value is zero so i have set this as zero now moving forward so these two are done now coming over here i see this is one cool this is one cool so i don't have to change this particular value but coming on to this value what i observe is that the uh, column that i have is zero right so i have to change this to zero so by now like by far we are done with this thing right so right now our matrix looks something like this now what we have to do is if my row is true right that means i have to set the entire row as zero okay now i will see if my column is zero no my column is not zero if it was zero i will set the entire column as zero but right now it's not so i'm not setting the entire column as zero okay so now you can see that this is what was the result that we wanted and i got that result okay in case you were not able to understand this process what i would suggest you is go back and try to listen to the stuff okay and try to follow along again the main con like what uh, what i feel is you might get confused is you might just travel the entire thing so don't travel the entire thing okay you have to leave this part like this part you have to just travel in this particular region okay and then you have to set values over here 
so this way what will happen is you like this way what will happen is you will be able to first convert this matrix why because you already have extra space over there right so this problem gets divided into the previous problem like we had a matrix and then we were able to have a row and a column got it and what we will do once we are done with this particular part once we have solved this part right what we will do now is this region that we have right so for this we have separately traverse and we have created a, a boolean variable right so we set it as true and we set it as false right so if that is true then we'll set this entire thing as zero okay if it is false then we'll let it be the way it is okay so we won't make any changes inside that got it now let's move on to the coding part for this so the coding part yep coming on to this so the coding part is uh, actually pretty much easy okay so once you know how this thing works right once you know the logic behind it you will be able to code it pretty much easily so I will just show you how to do that yeah keeping my graphic pad aside now the thing is first we have to get the row size right so int row is equal to a dot size minus one right now similarly i will get the column size that i have that is a of zero dot size minus one then what i will do is as i said right so i will just traverse inside the entire thing and i will let's say i, I will create two variables for first row and first column right so i will say top row equal to false for the moment right similarly bool uh, I have my first column right first column equal to false now for uh, in j equals 0 j less than equal to column j plus plus right so we are just moving around the first row that we have and if we encounter any zero what we will do is we will just uh, set it as true okay our boolean variable that is top row so we will set our top row as true done now same thing we will do for our column as well right so only change we have to make is we will be making this as row this will become z this will become j i hope you are able to do like follow this much and then over here we will have our first column set to as true okay once we are done with this particular stuff right once we are uh, done with this particular procedure that we have over here now what we have to do we have to start traversing from down to top and we'll be making changes inside our top row and top column so for that what i will do i will use a for loop okay so let's say for int i is equal to row right and then i is greater than zero so you can observe over here that i'm not traversing the zeroth row or the zeroth column okay make sure you keep this in mind because i hope that is the only point where you might can get confused then j is zero and j minus minus uh oh j minus minus right now our uh so what we'll do is we'll just check that if my a of i comma j is zero okay so what i will do i will just set my a of zero comma j that is my uh, top thing that I have right the row part over there. I will set it as zero and then I will just set my mm, Sorry, that was my for, for my column. I will set my row as no like that first row column as zero Okay Zero now I will what I will do is I will now again iterate back and I will solve the lower part of the matrix that I have right Okay so in order to solve the lower part of the matrix the only change i have to do is i have to like little bit modify my if condition so my if condition will go something like this if my a of 0 comma j is equal to equal to 0 or my a of i 0 is equal to equal to 0 
okay so if this is the case then in that particular uh, scenario I will set my i and j as 0 yeah done and now once we have solved the 2d part that is the half uh, the small part right so let's say we have a th uh, three dimensional matrix we have solved the two uh, 2d matrix okay actually what I meant was uh, 3 cross 3 we had right so we have solved 2 cross 2 now we have to just solve the top part of it so what we will say is if my first column is true that means I have to set my entire column as true right so I'll just use the for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than equal to row i plus plus okay and uh, what I do is just I set the entire why I'm writing yeah equal to 0 now similarly I will do the same stuff for my top row this thing will get converted to column and this will be 0 comma i yeah so let's see if this works so if you are following up till this point I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel okay I will try to post videos more regularly so this is how we basically solve our set matrix 0 so I hope you like this and see you in the next video